still right here And you could have it all My empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt Hey everybody, Red October. Um, today is February 1st. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, and I uh, just got back from um, visiting with my grandfather, <clears throat> went straight over there after work and uh, visited with him, and a couple of few family members came over, and then we went to go eat, and stopped at Walmart, and stopped and got some coffee, and just visited with him, and, um, you know, there's always good times when I can spend one more year with him. And, um, I think about driving off from his house. <clears throat> I think about, um, all the memories that I have with him, you know, that are up here. Um, and everything that I've seen growing up in, in the neighborhood that he still lives in when I was a kid, how much it's changed, how much, uh, there were fields, and he didn't live in the country, but he lived in the north part of town. And there was still a lot of undeveloped land and fields and uh, just old stores that I remember. And uh, now I just look around, everything's changed so much. <clears throat> and I can only imagine how he feels um, looking around, seeing all the things that have changed in his, in his time here where we live now. Versus where he grew up in West Texas, where we go visit, you know, his um, his dad's ranch that we still have, fortunately. Uh, don't know how much longer we're going to have that ranch. Maybe another year or two, but while we do, I'm going to try and enjoy it with my other family members. And uh, But I was driving off, and I always think, you know, all the things that I've seen growing up, all the memories... They're, they've changed. They're gone. The only memories I have are up here of what I remember seeing and visually and just being places. And my kids will never experience that. And um, one of the funny stories I always tell uh, the kids now is like, I remember that. I remember that. That wasn't there. Oh, that field over there used to be belong to so-and-so and now it's Walmart or whatever. And, uh, my kids will never know the history that I've seen growing up here in, in my town where we live at. And they can't appreciate it as much as I I have. And I understand it's just not their time. But uh, just driving off, I'm thinking, man, these memories are going to die with me, you know. And I'm not trying to get emotional here. Just, just some thoughts. So anyway... I'm going to share with you just a little footage of tonight and uh, being at my grandfather's. And uh, you'll have to bear the music he listens to because he's old and, um, you know, just different time. Music's still around, but um, it's more of the older Hispanic generation. So anyway, and uh, yes, I did shave today or last night. Shaved it all off. So anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, Pass on your memories. If you have kids, you have grandkids, you tell them those stories. And you teach them as much as you can so that hopefully some of those stories will carry on. All right, right out. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, Mijo. You're welcome. Cielo azul, cielo nublado, cielo de mi pensamiento. Quisiera estar a tu lado para vivir más contento, para vivir más contento. How old are you? Hmm? How old are you? 87. 87, how you feel? Pretty good. That's good. You're going to live to be a hundred. I hope so. <laughs>
Happy birthday, Grandpa. You still have time.